Hi everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Just want to go through a an interesting solution um, that uh, and and scenario that I'm 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 confident that at some point you'll you'll land on when you're trying to um, especially run a cumulative total inside of Power BI. So we have we had a member here um, from the support forum who who wanted to calculate sort of like a running balance, like it, just like a cumulative total. Um, but the issue was that every time a selection was made, every time a selection was made, the the um, uh, the cumulative total recalculated. Okay, so it always recalculated, and they didn't actually want that to happen. Okay, and so what they actually required was a solution including uh, that included all except. Okay, and so this is a good review of just cumulative totals and all except and how and how they work um, inside of Power BI. Okay, so let's just go to the uh, go to the example. So basically, here's the running balance here, and this is uh, this is also the running balance here. So what happens when you drag, say, the week number across here? You'll see that it's always rebalancing. It's always starting from say the first number here. But what the, uh, what the member wanted was they wanted this to retain its value. They wanted, say, we went to week uh, week five. They wanted this to re remain as 635, not recalculate um, as such. So not recalculate to say 78, okay? So this is where all select comes in. Um, all except, sorry. All, so all, ex all selected is sort of the generic cumulative total pattern that works really well when you're just trying to show a dynamic cumulative total based on any date selection that you might be making. But in this particular case, because of the requirement not to change not to change the um, not to recalculate to dynamically like like you would with all accepted they want we, we want to ignore and this is what all accept allows you to do we want to ignore the slicer selection coming from in this particular case the weak number column okay so basically all i need to do is i say well i want to remove all context from date here because I still want to run a cumulative total, but I want to retain the weak number, uh, the weak number context. Okay, so that it's only actually working over the weak numbers. Um, well, sorry, it's going to work through the dates, but it's going to um, I always go and look back to the very first week. Okay, and so I'm just going to go enter, and now if I move this across, you'll see that it retains. And so that visualization actually looks a lot better as well um, in this particular example, in this particular example. Um, and so if I go like so, you'll see that it um, retains its um, value as it should because it always is looking back to the very first, in this particular case, the very first weak number because we are, um, we are, re we are retaining, um, sorry, we're retaining the context from weak number, but we are removing it from all of everything else from a, within date. So this particular date here, sorry if I got you confused there, but this particular date will always go back to the very first date um, of the um, of the week number. Okay. So sure, it's, it's you know it's it's relatively unique, but um, but there's a, there's a requirement that for that. Sometimes you just don't want to um, you know you don't want a, a dynamic calculation all the time that re recalibrates every time you make a selection. And using all except here is a perfect example of where um, you can remove context, but you know, based on the parameter you input, you can retain context and um, for, for for some particular columns, for some particular slicer selections that you might actually be making inside your inside your visualizations. Okay, so short and sweet on this one. Um, uh, it is it is quite a unique one uh, that uh, that is easily solved, and hopefully you can see that. And hopefully you can see that uh, all accept is a um, you know really useful function for for scenarios just like this one. I'll make sure to also leave a link um, link to this particular uh, forum um, support forum uh, request so that you can actually go and have a look um, have a look deeper at um, at the answers and uh, and and have a play around. Okay, take care. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time 
from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.